If you can't spice it up with the vocab, you go with the hands. So, you know, one of my uh, many, many talents. Okay. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. Happy Saturday if you are watching this at launch. At uh, upload time of launch. Okay. You were searching. You got to throw some regular words out there as you search for the spicy words. But then when the spicy ones don't come to mind. I just repeat. You're just out there. Yeah. You're just hanging out there on a clothesline, so to speak. Okay. Um, I feel like the camera seems lower today. We in a good range? It doesn't look great. I'm going to have to handle this in post. Okay. All right. Was it a little crooked or what? Very crooked. All right. Get, get me right. Keep me looking good, kid. Um, if you love sneakers, buckets, how often do we upload a new video? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So you have come to the right place. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. YouTube will notify you when we upload a new video. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram right here. Bang at Mr. Former Simpson. And if you enjoyed today's video, the YouTube algorithm, we got to feed that algorithm with a thumbs up. So we smash the thumbs up. YouTube is like, oh, hey, listen. This must be a pretty good video. Let's push it to other people. That's how it works. At least that's what I'm told. Who, who really knows anymore? Uh, the Matrix, it's a crazy place. Uh, could I call myself Neo? Absolutely not. A little Keanu Reeves? I think I could do a little Keanu. John Wick? Keanu. Keanu? Um, John Wick or Neo from The Matrix? I'm somewhere in between those two guys. You're nothing like either one. <sighs> That hurts me. Okay. Anything to uh, add or are we diving in here? Diving in. Three, two, one. Bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mid Dutch Green. These released recently and retail was $130. They are currently reselling for over 200 bucks, so almost double retail, maybe a little bit of a stretch, but almost double retail, which for a Jordan 1 mid, it still kind of blows my mind. We've talked about it a bunch in previous videos, but Jordan 1 mids are so much more sought after than they used to be. Buckets, that's not even really debatable, right? I mean, they were not sought after. Really at all? No, like they would never be over uh, retail. Right, and now you look at a pair like the Melody Asani collaboration goes for like a thousand bucks. Yeah. You look at even a Lakers colorway that goes in the three, four hundred dollar range. Even the Chateau Rouge. You remember that pair? I do. Maison Chateau Rouge. I know I'm probably butchering that, forgive me, but those go for four or five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks. So four hundred bucks, five hundred. Oh wow, oh wow, guys going crazy. I mean, you—that's what you're doing. Wow, All right. little dramatic. <laughs> It's never been a sneaker that I've been into, and yet these resale prices are nuts, at least a lot of them anyway. That's the point that I was trying to make. And obviously, I'm being a little dramatic when I say that everyone used to hate this sneaker. That's kind of how it felt. When I say everyone, I mean there was no cool factor with sneaker heads. I, I, I hate using that word, but in the really niche, niche, tomato, tomato, in the small sneaker space, the Jordan 1 Mid was just not a sneaker that anyone was checking for. And so now, to see people checking for them, it's just an interesting thing. It just goes to show you how that hype machine can work and how quickly it can work. Now, even though I am not a Jordan 1 Mid fan, I do think this is a pretty cool colorway. They've been doing a great job with that 
and on the Jordan 1 mid in general. And another thing that I have to mention, by the way, this leather quality on the toe box is really, really good. I'm talking like really good. Mutabella good. It's this light mint color. And quite frankly, Buckets, do you agree? I would say it's beautiful. It's very good. Very good. Then you have this Dutch green, which is kind of a cool color, not nearly as impressive material-wise or quality-wise, I should say. It's just kind of whatever, just kind of regular. What throws me off with the color blocking or the colorway, and I'm nitpicking a little bit, but it's the Wings logo. It's like a rose or a blush type of color, almost maybe even a peach, and I think it would have looked a lot better if it was that same pink that you see here with the laces and also on the tongue tag. I like the pink and green combo, the blush rose peach type of deal throws me off. I still like the colorway overall. It's just that little detail that I'm not crazy about. Other than that, you have the black leather swooshes, white nylon tongue, white midsole, and then those all green bottoms, as you can see. I really dig how that looks, by the way. Similar to an army green is kind of how I would describe it. Fatigue green. And you can't go wrong with fatigue green. I also do like the pink and fatigue green color combo, which again is why that Wings logo throws me off a bit. Buckets, you're shaking your head back there. You, you don't like my mint take or what? I don't think it's a mint. Not a mint. I mean, I got to look at it now. What color do you think it is? It's like an off-whitish color. Really? Yeah, of some sort. Of the of the off white variety. Okay. All right. Well, if that is true, then you just edit in like a little asterisk, and boom. Every time I say mint, you just pop that up. I mean, you only said mint once. All right. Well, there you go. Then we're safe. We're good. You edit it out, and none of this ever happened. Poof. The Matrix, Neo, John Wick. There it is. Okay. So, overall. Scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give these a five out of 10 for me personally, because I'm not going to wear them. But on someone else's foot or feet, I should say, I would probably give these like a seven. This is also a women's release, which is dope to see. We've been seeing that more and more with Jordan Brand and you truly love to see it. I think that's really, really dope and uh, just a cool thing. So still though, for me personally, I gotta go five buckets. What are you going with? Three. Three out of ten. Yeah, I don't that like That seems them. a little harsh. No, I don't like them. You don't like the colors? At all. All right. I think it's like, a, and I'm all about the clash, but it's not this clash. All right. All right. It's not an artistic clash. Okay. So you're not a fan. And now you have been a fan of some of the mids, even if not to wear the, the colorways. Another one that I really liked was the Blue the Great. The Blue the Great is the best Jordan 1 mid ever. Wow. That's a spicy take. I don't think it's that spicy. Okay. You couldn't find the vocab word, but you found the hot take. Yes. All right. But I don't think it. it's a hot take. Okay. All right. I'm not mad at it. I, I, won't, I won't argue it. It's a really, really good sneaker. These definitely not on that level, but I think this is a dope sneaker for 130 bucks that if you dig the colors, boom, you grab them, you beat them up, you wear them. It's not a thousand dollar sneaker that you're going to, well, not 130 now more in the 200 range like we discussed but nonetheless it's a reasonably affordable sneaker and something that you can probably get a lot of wear out of so boom i think that's pretty much it that is leave a comment below let us know how you feel what are your thoughts on the jordan one mid what are your thoughts on this colorway what are your thoughts just uh, in general let us know always love to hear from you thank you for watching you are very very appreciated we will be back tomorrow manana same time same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for thy head tops buckets anything to add no adios